this is a review for chapter 6. You have your chapter 6 test on March 6th or March 7th. So here are some practice problems that are on the review that we're going to work together. Number 2, the problem is 256 to the 3 fourths power and we want to evaluate that. So I'm going to take two steps. I'm going to take the fourth root of 256 first. The fourth root of 256 is 4. So now that changes my problem to be 4 to the third. And 4 to the third power is 64. So 256 to the 3 fourths power is 64. Remember that there's a chart in my classroom if you want to check your steps as we go. Number 5 is 27 to the negative 2 thirds power and in the same way I'm going to first of all do the cube root of 27 which is 3. So now I have 3 to the negative 2 power. So what I'm going to do is two steps and one here. Um, 3 to the negative 2 power, the negative tells me to rewrite this as 1 over 3 squared. The negative means make a fraction and move this to the denominator and when you move the negative 2 to the denominator it becomes positive. So now my answer is 1 over 3 squared which is 9 so my solution or evaluation of this problem is 1 over 9. The next problem is number 10. You are multiplying the functions f of x and g of x. f of x is 2x plus 9 g of x is 3x minus 1. When you multiply them, you're going to have to use FOIL. So this is 6x squared minus 2x plus 27x minus 9. 6x squared, combine your like terms, so it's 25x minus 9 is your answer. The next example is number 12. This is a composition problem, f of g of x. My f function is 2x plus 9. Where the x is, is what I'm going to take out, and I'm going to replace it with 3x minus 1, because that is the g function. So you're taking the g function and putting it into the f equation. 2 times 3x minus 1 plus 9, so I'm going to simplify this by making 6x minus 2 plus 9. I've distributed here. Then I'm going to combine my like terms, so I have 6x plus 7. And so the composition f of g of x equals 6x plus 7. The next problem that I'm going to work is number 16. This is a uh, problem where you're trying to find the inverse. Remember for inverse you take the x and the y and you switch them. So the first step is really simple. We switch the x and the y. The next step is not quite as simple because now we have to solve it to where y is by itself. So subtract 5 from both sides. That gives me x minus 5 equals y to the third power. To get rid of the third power I have to use the cube root, the cube root on both sides. So I have the cube root of x minus 5 equals y. So the inverse of x cubed plus 5 is the cube root of x minus 5. The next problem is number 18 where we're solving a radical equation. This is the square root of 3x plus 7 equals 4. To get rid of a square root, I square both sides. The square cancels the square root and leaves me with 3x plus 7. 4 to the second power is 16. Now this is a normal equation where I want to get x by itself. So I subtract 7 from both sides, which gives me 3x equals 9. Divide both sides by 3, and x is going to be 3. The next example is number 19, where I have x minus 3 equals the square root of x minus 1. I need to get rid of the square root because I can't do anything else in the problem without getting rid of that square root. The square cancels the root and makes x minus 1 on the right side, 
but what you have to remember is x minus 3 squared means x minus 3 times itself, which means you have to FOIL. So now I have x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 equals x minus 9. Anytime you have x squared and x in the same problem, you need to get everything to the same side. So first I'm going to simplify this, x squared minus 6x plus 9. Then I'm going to subtract x from both sides, and I'm going to add 1 to both sides so that my right side is 0. So now I have x squared minus 7x plus 10. If I factor this, it factors into x minus 5 times x minus 2 because 5 times 2 is 10 and 5 plus 2, since they're both negative, is negative 7. Remember that your solutions are always opposite of what your factors are. So my solutions are 5 and 2. Those are all of my problems for the review. Um, if you have any other questions, come see me.